Hello everybody, what is going on? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of How to Minecraft. Now guys, today I'm going to focus on trying to get that uh, new level a little bit of uh, style and get it up and ready to be used. Um, but first thing, I have done a little bit of off-screen work, nothing too big. For some reason my jump has been nerfed, I can no longer get up this thing, it's kind of weird. But uh, I have gone ahead and repaired all of our armor, it did cost quite a lot to cost us 10k to get all those pieces done and the salty axe isn't far off he doesn't have it on breaking so that's going to be you know needing some repairs every now and then i should have put the um i should have put the unbreak on the salty axe really instead of the pickaxe i really should have but yeah i'm going to be focusing a lot on the booking chance to try and get some brand new sharpness unbreaking well now i'm breaking and looting swords so that's going to be something we're going to be focusing on and then this is our other goal which is trying to get this to be opened up and ready to go. Let's actually super break this wall right down because we're not going to need it anytime soon. And pretty much what that means is that we're going to put all of this, what is quartz now, or snow on top of it, we're going to put another level there. I was, however, considering bringing it in a level to give it a nice little trim. But I think it looks so good as it is. But I don't want to use glass exactly. I want to use like a nice cyanish type of green. So... To get that, we're going to need to combine a blue and a green. Simple color math right here, guys. Blue and green equals cyan. Um, so, it does, it's not a perfect cyan, though. So, I think if you make it a light blue... No, I don't think you can go past that. It's just like cyan. It's a nice color, though. And on glass, it looks pretty good. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. First things first, let's sell this cobble in our hand. And, of course, like always, guys, if you are enjoying the how-to Minecraft series, be sure to leave a like rating below. Um, let's get this coal done for. And I actually want to check before we even start any of that uh, what our iron golem farm is looking at. Oh, and actually, I want to sort of lay out what we're going to do with this level. So I don't actually know what to put in the level to say. It's more of a sense going to be me asking you what do you want here. Like, I'm just trying to think what could be put here. I'm coming up with blanks. One thought is DJ Skellex's floor and disco could go right here. Would actually be perfect, and it can be up right here. Actually, that's what we might do. This might be his little stand, like right here. And this will be a disco floor, and that'll be like drinks and a bar. And maybe we might put might bring the potion stand up here. We can put our potions there and whatnot. What is going to be here is an elevator. The elevator is going to take us. Uh, let me just. Yeah, I'm just going to use my super breaker skill there. Elevator is going to take us up to this tree about here with a little bit of stairs, so that it'll bring us pretty much up to here, and we can just take a nice little staircase up to the iron golem farm and the villages and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty much that. Yeah, it's going to come up to like here, and then we're going to have like a nice little statue platform, whatever, to get up here and whatnot, so we can check on our iron golem farm instead of having to come up the back door, which I might get rid of altogether. Um, so we have a cool 32 irons in here. Nice, we'll leave the poppies there because we don't really use the poppies ever. Um, so let's go ahead and try and work on this cyan mix. So we don't have any cactus, I believe, um, and that is pretty much the main part of it. We need cactus to get the green dye. So, uh, do, 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 do. there is no warps out to the cactus. The best one, I think, is Pirate Island. Um, is it Pirate Island or just Pirate Ship? I think it's Pirate Ship. There we go. This is the closest one to a desert. The desert should be just over here. But as far as cactus being in this desert, I don't actually remember them being there. And if they were there, they took them. You can buy cactus from spawn. And I just realized that, and then I realized how rich I am. Well, not really that rich, but it's really cheap to buy cactus, so we're going to go ahead and do it. It is pretty cheap, right? Yeah, 16, yeah, sure. Easy, done. That way, it saves us a lot of time having to go to the desert and getting some cactus. Works for me. I'm going to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and let's smell half of this, just in case I want it for the rest. That's how you make a green dye, if you never knew that before. Uh, I've got my dyes in this little corner. Now, I'm not even sure if we can use blue orchids as blue dyes, but it's lapis. And we actually see what happens if you put blue orchids into a crafting grid. Uh, just one. You get a light blue dye. Interested to see what light blue dye... Because I don't think you can just get flat blue dye. You can't. It's just lapis is a blue dye. Which is kind of weird. Um, to say the least. It's sort of like ink sacks and a couple others. So let's see here. If I put cactus green and lapis lazuli together. It will give me... There we go. Cyan. Um, I wanted to also check what would a blue orchid and cactus green get me. Okay, it wouldn't give me anything. Okay, sort of should have seen that coming, really. Uh, I really need to get a bin up here, man. There's so much crap. I have to go downstairs. That's something we should use this cactus for, another bin upstairs. We have the rabbit hole for downstairs. We need some damn upstairs. Um, so, 
Now that that's done, let's have a look at what books we have going about in our enchant tables. Like I said, we want to try and hunt down and I'm breaking and whatnot. I'll be down to burn these enchants until we get a good one. So let's see what we got going. Now, power, efficiency, and I'm breaking. Uh, let's burn an enchant right here. Uh, let's just burn it on a book. I probably should make some... Uh, I guess I can combine the books later. So it's, yeah, it's not that much of a waste if I really want them to have them there. Uh, looting 2. Looting 3 would be ideal, so let's get rid of that. Uh, we're just going to keep doing it until we get one that we want. Protection 3 is a good shout. However, still not that great. And that's what I want to ask you guys. Should I throw these books away or should I just use them and combine them later in the anvils for better enchants? I don't know if they work. I know you can do it with the swords, but I don't know if you can do it with books. I, I just simply don't know. Efficiency Unbreaking Sharpness 3. I'm going to leave that in there for now. Because if I combine that with another Sharpness 3... I will have sharpness 4 on my axe, and therefore making it just that little bit more strong. Just that little bit more stronger. So I'm going to leave that there, and we're going to try and do a goal for today, which is to get... Um, we'll leave the books in the music disc section, uh, which is to try and get, of course, a level 30 in chat going. Uh, but of course, let's not forget about our current goals of the cactus dyes as well. Well, these lapis and parts of weight. Wow, we need more cactus dye. It didn't give us... Oh, but it gives you a lot per... Um, die. You actually have to put it all around. Yeah, we should be sweet. Oh, just sweet. Perfect. And that should be more than enough glass. And I maybe am regretting my decision to go for this color of glass. But it's too late now. So we're going to find out. Hopefully it looks pretty good up on here. Yeah, we're going to go straight on the quartz. Get rid of all the snow that is here. And that way we're just actually building towards doing something with this level. We've been a little bit of a stalemate with our you know, this floor. I think I might actually leave that bit to be... Okay, he here's the idea I'm thinking. Because if that's going to be DJ Skellix's, like, performance corner, it needs to be mad, like, colors with the glass. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go blue up until about here. Uh, it would be hard to go all the way around, but I actually just don't physically think I can do it. So, at about here, we're going to have... Do I have a shovel? I don't. Um, I'm going to clean that all out, and that's going to be a flat thing. And I think I'm going to use paints. Paints could actually look a lot better. I don't know how they work in the diagonal axis. They don't move flatly. Flatly. They don't move flat. Um, I am tempted to say, let's try it out. Let's get a crafting table up here. Just the essentials on every level, you know. Um, let's make some paints and see how they work in a diagonal fashion. If they don't connect well, which I am assuming they do not. Yeah, they, they literally don't connect. <laughs> okay, so paints is out of the question. I just want to do pains because they look better. Probably shouldn't waste my silk touch on pains. I really don't care about the pains. Like, honestly, bang, you're all gone. That, bye, bye, pains. You're now broken forever. Bye. Hope you had a great time. All right, so pains out of the question. We're just going to go with flat glass. Um, we could have gone pains here, but nah, can't be stuffed. Uh, or nah, 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 we're good. Um, so over here, it's going to be some funkadelic, uh, different colors of stained glass. So we have to re dye a couple of these. Uh, but that's totally cool. Uh, I think this will be like a little bit of a window though. So we actually might make this a pane window. Um, so if this is working the way I want it to work, let's get a couple bit of panes going. Um, is this a hole? Good. Uh, it's not exactly a hole I wanted. I want to try and get my shovel. I swear I had a good shovel in here somewhere. Efficiency 1, that's the best I had. Eek. Um, actually, let's drop a lot of this stuff off as well. So let's just drop off the essentials. i got a lot of crap in this inventory right now. Um, a lot of blocks to deposit, a lot of irons, actually I might just sell these excess irons as well, because cash money, oh, I love the cash monies, cash money, cash money, alright, and then I think I might get like more bit of quartz to sort of line this out, um, let's just start with what we're doing with, okay, so let's just get this trim done over here, so that's nice, and you know, Perfect. When we get to the diagonal, that's where it's going to be funkadelic, like a disco room. So, leave that until then, um, which will require us getting more glass, more dyes, and that'll be DJ Skellix's setup room. Um, I don't know if we'll have that done before or after we actually get DJ Skellix. Probably after, um, when we pick a DJ and, you know, we're set on him being the DJ. Um, so, this is actually going to go all the way around here as well. So, I'm going to need um, a little bit more of this stuff. I'm actually have to cut all this down as well, so... There's only one way to do that, and that is with your boy, the Super Breaker. This gets out of control, though, because I sort of can't see where I'm even breaking the blocks at, like, later stages, so I break the floor on, not, you know, on purpose, just I get really fast. And it starts lagging with the amount of particles going off, the amount of blocks you're breaking so quickly. The game can't even keep up. All right. 
Either way, let's get these down. Let's stop the snow coming in. It's kind of getting a little annoying. Um, yep, perfect. We have to cut that one off there as well. Perfect. I might even cut that whole little line or chain off. Um, so we just jump around here, jump up to here, get on top of it, narrow it down the core, and it is a GG. Oh, mining level. Nice. I rate the mining levels. Uh, let's see how far we can get with the cyan stand clay. Oh, not very far at all. <laughs> We're going to get nowhere with that one. All right, anyway, I still want to get those levels, so we might try and do a dungeon. Like I said, Mitch has already gone ahead. I'm filming this one not so after the last one. Um, I guess that's a sneaky way to get up. Um, oh, wait, can I even get up? I should be able to. I should do it the last second. There we go. Um, yeah, no, all of the dungeons have been raided. I'm hoping there are a couple refreshes, but I wouldn't be too certain of it. Uh, so yeah, is this going to be a really high roof? I think I've done the glass a bit too high. Yeah, let's take that glass down a little bit. I'll still touch these ones because I sort of like it, even though it's really not worth it. Because I could get extra diamonds or whatnot. Um, so put it up to here. We're going to just run out on that level. So one more line of cyan. And I guess we'll do the one like white or something. Have like a white window here. Yeah, quartz around the sides. So it'll be like quartz here and then like a little bit of pain. It'll be cut off from quartz from like the psychedelic thing that's gonna go here but I actually sort of like this view right now it looks so like cavey it's like as if we're looking at a legit cave like you know it's just goals at this stage it looks kind of cool now nah? like it's actually I like this sort of like opening of like how it like makes a jut like I like this I might just keep that open or something I might try to work with that looks kind of cool I'm probably gonna ruin it let's be real but anyway levels levels okay so we're on 22 we need level 30 what's the best way of getting level 30 you may be asking uh go to any dungeon and kill things i'm gonna go to the wall uh warp the wall and i might just take a little bit of a cut do some off-screen training and whatnot um and just kill some things until level 30 so i will see you guys in a second hopefully it won't take too long okay dokey so i'm fighting out absolute hordes and hordes these guys i'm a little scared at my durability it's going down a little bit, so hopefully I can piece this scene soon enough. It's it's mainly the skeletons trying to dodge these guys and their bow shots. There we go, level 30, bang, just like that. I'm just going to quickly check to see if the boss has respawned. I highly doubt it. I can sort of tell from here that it hasn't. Oh, it's just, oh it's a naughty, but it, the chicken died. Oh, well, that sucks. Wait, is he still riding the chicken? No, he's definitely not. He's just... A, a baby zombie. Uh, but we did get a couple axe levels as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, can you ask me a question? I'm bad, I know. Uh, but at least I know. Okay, so let me just get these last little guys down. 178. Heck, let's get it like three more levels so we can keep going for some level 30s if we want. Actually, no, I would prefer to burn them and then whatnot. So, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, okay, yeah, jump did get nerfed. We used to be able to jump up on these things. Alright, um, so let's jump up in here. Uh-oh, let's jump up here. Boom. Perfect. All right, we have a lot of things to burn, though. Got a lot of junk from that uh, that little how-to Minecraft dungeon, to say the least. Lots of bows. This is power two. I'm breaking three. Damn, wish I could salvage that. All right, let's just chuck most of this junk in here. I've been always told to sell the arrows instead of throw them away. You get so much crap from that. Imagine you have a looting sword. You just go rampant in that thing. Uh, oh, that was the block I was meant to put back. Let me throw this away, sell a hand for that, perfect, okie doke. Now, let's sell the bones, and let's go ahead, there, look at those arrows, it sort of sucks that we lost a little bit of durability there, but it's going to happen, to say the least. Um, so, let's go upstairs, get this 30 enchant for our now going to be level 3 axe, uh, and uh, yeah, let's hit it. So, um, need to grab two more lapis, maybe even three, I think, yeah, no, we're going to need to grab more of that. Uh, did I put the books in here? No, I think I put the books in here. No, did I put the books in here? Did I put the books in here? Did I put the books here? Did I put the books here? Where the books? Oh, the books are inventory. Whoopsie. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put that there. Put that there. And let's receive our sharpness. Three book and a flame one. That would have been hyped to get a fire aspect one. So then it would combine and get me uh, more for my buck. But either way, sharpness four book. Uh, 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 inbound. It's going to cost five levels to do so. So that's fine. Because ding, 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 it's done. Alright, let's have a look and see if we can find any other. If we can get a sharpness one, get this up to sharpness five, I'd be sick. It's so cool when you're building up your weapon to make it stronger. If only I had life steal on this or other, some GG enchant. 
I mean, I feel a little sad if I get like a better axe because it means I'm just like wasting my time. I mean, if this had life steal, it, it actually would be an overpowered weapon. It's sad to say. Uh, fire aspect, power one. Yeah, let's burn these until we get some more good ones. So let's go. Let's burn some books. Let's burn some books. All right, so the first one, efficiency, uh, fire aspect. I could efficiency that to get that, but I just can't be bothered. Or maybe I should. Get that to efficiency four. Because it's going to be... Screw it. Whatever. We're just, like, upgrading all our stuff via the books pretty much at this stage. So, uh, I'm breaking efficiency and making efficiency four. Costs five levels. Like, it, it doesn't take that long to get to 30 at, at the walls. It really, it really doesn't. It doesn't take that long. All right. Um, so, let's see. Let's go for another... Another book. Let's see what the books are giving us today. Fire protection, feather falling, and protection one. Alrighty, what do we got today? Blast protection, power two, unbreaking one. What do we got today? Infinity, infinity. Uh, okay, let's just burn all of them. Burn the lot. Um, I should make crappy pickaxes though. Oh, am I out of lapis? Oi, fish, fish, fish. Can we get a refill up in this hood? Please, we need to get more of this lapis in here. Alrighty, let's put pretty much all that away. Alright, let's burn some more books until we get a good one. Let's go. Alright, so, protection one. What have we got now? Fire aspect. Okie dokie. And Bane. Okay, we're out of books. Oh no, we're going to need to grab more books. So, let's put these ones away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. And let me just check to see if I actually can combine, like, books and whatnot. So let's see if I can combine. I had two Unbreaking books here. How much does it cost to combine these two together to make an Unbreaking 2 book? Um, I wonder. It only costs two levels. So now we got an Unbreaking 2 book. We'll just build that up so that we can get an Unbreaking 3. And then we can slap that on our axe so he doesn't die as much. Or doesn't have to be repaired as often, I should say. Just a small little buff, I guess you'd say. Looting is the big one, though. We need it for our sword. I can't wait to get the looting thing. Looting 2 just wasn't enough to really, you know, raise my eyes. I Raise my eyes? Raise my eyebrows. Um, so, raise my eyebrows? Still sounds weird. Raise an eyebrow. That sounds like the right expression. All right. Anyway, let's pop these in and get some more books. We are some weird book nerds right now. Going in for the books. All right. Protection 3. Knockback power 1. Sort of inclined to go for a protection, but no. All right, what do we got next? We have perspiration. No, not happening. Sharpness. Might as well stack them up. Uh, protection, protection, knockback. Still no. We can only actually burn a couple more. I can't stack the books up, which is kind of annoying. Uh, protection, no, once again. Come on, give us some good stuff. Depth Strider we already have. There's the sharpness to stack up against each other. Uh, respiration could just stop. Oh, we need, we need eight levels to do that. Damn. All right, then. What if we did not have the physical ability to do said enchant? It changes. No, but then I don't think it changes for the better. Yeah, because I don't think it changes the other ones. Yeah, it, it, it messes it all up. All right, anyway, we're going to need to get more levels if we want to do any more uh, enchanting or whatnot. Uh, but as far as the books go, in terms of... I'll, I'll organize these in terms of what actually they are. So, protection, protection, bane, bane, projectile. So, power was, yep, here. Sharpness was here. Uh, power here again, and then knockback over here. I might have to, I'll probably have to make my own chest for these. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make our own chest for these, because otherwise it's just going to get way too confusing. Uh, so, let's go ahead and grab some wood, make a double chest. I need to grab an item frame as well, so let's grab an item frame. Perfect. I thought that paper was like a payment or something or whatnot. Um, so then we go, I'll grab our stuff over here and we'll put it down. Um, hmm. Could have made a trap chest and put it down there. We'll put it here and we'll grab an item frame, chuck it on the left. And we'll put on a knockback because we'll probably never use that. And then let's get these nice and organized into the order that we want to have them. So sharpness, sharpness, power. Power goes here. Okie dokie. I'm breaking. Protection. Protection. Bane. Bane. So that way I can, you know, stack them up and whatnot. And that way I could work at getting like a sharpness too. By just simply just re-getting sharpness over and over again. 
And I guess you'd probably get sharpness five in there quick enough. We only need a sharpness four or a five though, so it's not that hard um, in terms of stuff to get. Oh, okie dokie. So anyway, um, I think that will do for pretty much the enchanting side of things. Um, I'm just wondering what else we should do to wrap up this episode. I guess we could maybe, I, I'll, I'll off screen, I guess, get some of the stuff to get most of this ready. We'll clear up this bit because it's getting a little annoying. Yeah, we'll get most of the glass wall in. Let's actually giga drill this just to get rid of it all. Um, yeah, we'll glass wall this so we can actually uh, see what we're looking at. Oh, it's actually nice to see. Oh, it looks so much better. Yeah, we can see what we're looking at um, instead of just the dirt because it looks grungy and it just looked like we weren't getting anywhere. But now we just have a little bit of uh, roof to work with and a little bit of gravel on the ground. Jeez. What is he even doing on the ground? And then it's it'll it'll make place. You know, this is I'm hopefully gonna do some off stream work. We might do it in the episode. We'll see how we go. But um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this episode of How to Minecraft right there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. See you guys then.